Okay, so uh, new Friday, new Guild War. Um, seems like we're doing all right. We have eight tokens left. They have fifteen. Uh, they I mean they could make up this gap. Um, so you know, we'll see whether we end up winning or losing. Um, let's see what rank we're we're two forty three. Um, which, you know, we're in top two hundred. See if uh, I think if we win this, maybe we'll be like one, one fifty something. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, let's just get in here. Uh, I'll be attacking the stronghold today. This one looks like a lot of fun because it looks like it'll be kind of easy and I don't have to worry about it too much. But uh, you know, um, as always, those are famous last words. Uh, so let's take a look here. Uh, probably gonna bring the usual to the top one. Uh, let's bring you, you, and where are you? Uh, here we are. Well, yeah, so I kind of like this up here. Um, these two are just gonna hit her, and then she's gonna hit whoever. Uh. That Tenebria will like has a uh, cleave, so she'll like randomly hit people and then hopefully just stack up enough damage on her on him to like one shot one of these two. Uh, and then SSB hopefully will just sort of wipe him out with her, uh, do well, do decent damage with her uh, AoE here. Um, yeah, obviously, you probably want to bring something like Basar into this maybe. Uh, but my Bissar's not built, and I don't really intend on building him, so, you know, that's that. Uh, I do have Vildred now, but he's he's kind of lacking. I don't know if I want to bring him. Uh, especially not into another... Well, I don't know about it, if I want to bring him into another Vildred. Um... So I guess the plan is here, use this, uh, push up villagers. See the problem with this is uh, villagers probably just gonna kill me. Uh, villager is probably, uh, I mean uh, DJ Massage is probably just gonna die here. So I'm kind of sketchy on that. I really don't want um, him to die. It's actually an interesting team. I think, yeah, I think I want to do is bring this, uh, and then bring, like, a fire bait. Oh, and I actually wanted to test out my Ravi, too. I forgot about that. Um, but let's not bring her. Let's bring you. Unfortunately, I'm going to bring you into this. Uh, so this looks kind of, uh, sketchy, um... Basically, Lilius is just here to die. Um, I mean, she's decently geared, but as you, many of you, uh, any well, as if as any of you may have seen uh, my other videos, I don't use Lilius a whole lot. Um, so if she dies, it's not that big a deal because, like I said, I don't break her out very much. Uh, but this into this might be able to enough to kill him. Problem is, this crowd's probably on Aureus, so uh, might not be enough to kill him. Um. Just kind of making me reconsider. So maybe running like, where is she here, or where's uh, something like uh, running her right? So maybe he s threes, uh, she s threes, and then s ones him. Hopefully not killing him. I don't think she. Uh, my my obviously she's only plus three, and that's all just in her s three. So she doesn't do a whole lot of damage right now. Um, but hopefully that's enough to like get him low enough that uh, Lilibet can just one-shot him. Um, but then the problem there is like somebody here is going to die and I really don't want to lose like him. I mean, if anything, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. Uh, the only the other thing that could go wrong here is maybe this uh, Vildred uh, is faster than 223. And then just one shots us on turn one, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, basically this is a a, a lesson in 
uh, making sure you have like an ox slots. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Like my, I do have ox slots and I do have her, so maybe her ox slots and uh, Lilibet would be pretty good here. But uh, she's not geared, and my ox slots, I don't have enough speed to really make ox slots. Uh, worth it in a lot of scenarios, but this this would be a good place to make him worth it, right? Because I don't think anybody here would be higher than like 240 speed, uh, which is probably what I had to get my ox slots around. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, sort of enough of that. Let's just try to let's just try it with what we have here and, and see where this goes. I really hope I don't just like one shot the uh, Arbiter Villagers with my um, <laughs> C Dom there. This is like the only uh, problem I have with that one. Uh, okay, so no one here is very fast. Let's hit you. See how much resistance she has. Uh, a decent amount. Uh, well, I mean, I guess the answer to that is uh, she has enough. Let's see how much effectiveness she has. Not much. Uh, let's just hit you. Okay. Sometimes I feel like maybe running uh, DN would be interesting here. Uh, just, just to sort of speed up the process because it just gives uh, Seaside Bologna more attack, uh, which you know obviously makes her more effective at what she does. Uh, so she's gonna hit uh, Ruel again. Okay, that's two. Okay, so I got the Tenebria. So now she's gonna come back. She, the it's it's not that big a deal. Uh, but like she doesn't have the attack buff is one of the things because I mean it's, it's not really that big a deal nothing too too much to worry about but still it's like you know she can be pretty scary with an attack buff uh, of course you got the stun there Let's see what this does okay it's not that bad hit you okay so she died uh, and this uh, specter is gonna be stacking um, well, just getting more stacks in general. Uh, let's see. Oof. Okay, so the problem here is I'm not really doing enough damage. Um, let's just heat, let's just top her off just for the sake of getting that, uh, start rotating your cooldown so that, uh, it'll be up later. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm just gonna... I just want to S3 her. Just S3 her, why not? Um, yeah, that's fine. That's like 7k damage. I mean, she obviously has like way less than 7k, but uh, just to be safe, I guess. Okay, so there's that. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, they. this is sort of the end of it, really. Well, there's not much they can do here. That uh, Ravi actually hits decently hard. I mean, on an S1, she was able to proc the uh, the Water's Origin. So, still, again, it's not doing very much damage. Uh, this is good, because now what this basically means is uh, I can... Well, it's actually not going to be that useful, considering she has, I think... Uh, Crimson Seed, or I saw so, yeah, so she, uh, I think that's Crimson Seed. Yeah, I saw somebody with a Timeless Anchor Ravi today, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so yeah, so basically she can't heal right now off of any of this. So this is good, just just for the sake of speeding this up. Fortunately, the uh, Crimson Seed got her there. Okay, Let's hit her with this. Oh, but yeah, so this is basically done. I just need to <laughs> whittle down this uh, monster of a character here. Uh, yes, let's just hit her. Uh, fortunately, she's either not on counter or I'm just getting super lucky. I really doubt she was on counter because I would have gotten countered way more than what I did there. All right, so here's the the next team. Hopefully, no one here is faster than 223. Very cool. Uh, so let's do this. Okay. 
So basically, the only thing I'm worried about here is the, uh... Well, actually... Yeah, let's just hit him. Why not? Uh, I shouldn't kill him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the reason I, I was like sort of decided, oh yeah, maybe I don't need her to hit him is because I forgot that she has my uh, tag of hells. Obviously, you can see here it's not maxed, not even close. Uh, but I get at least one soul out of it, so I can soul burn her and that should uh, seal it. But let's see if I kill him. Ooh, he didn't die. Okay, cool. Uh, which saves me the soul burn, so I can just do this now. And he's dead. Oh, actually, yeah, okay. Uh, I wonder if he was running the, uh, what's, what's that artifact called? Uh, the Moonlight Dreamblade there. Uh, cause Lilibet's passive, well, not, not her passive, she doesn't have a passive, but Lilibet's S3 has a passive part to it. Uh, let's just hit you. Has like a passive element to it where, oh, cool. Um, has like a passive element to it where... Uh, do I want to do that? Yeah, that's fine. Has a pal uh, sorry, I, um, sorry, taking forever to get this point out, but it has a passive element to it that gives her more um, increased hit chance. Um, which, wow, what's with these dual attacks? Uh, so, I mean, it, it, it completely negates the Moonlight Dreamblade. Uh, what did I... What did I burn? Did I burn? I, I guess I did burn. I didn't realize I burned that. Uh, let's hit you with this. Okay. Uh, let's hit you with this. Okay, so... Problematically... Okay, let's do this. Problematically, Crow is after my um, DJ Basar. Um, that's a problem, obviously, because... Uh, that's a good, a good chance he'll just S3 Basar. Unless I get like a, a lucky stun, which I'm not sure is gonna happen. Um, that's not to mention. That's not even mentioning the fact that like, I think this crowd's on holy sacrifice, which is gonna suck. Okay, so let's just let him hit us again. Maybe we can do some some dam some serious damage uh, on the the next on this next rotation here. So he's got 15k or 16k HP. Okay, let's see what this does. Come on, stun. Nope. Okay, so I think I'm going to lose Basar, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, um, Actually... Yeah, this kind of sucks, because regardless, it's just going to, like... Um... So I can soul burn this, but I don't think it's going to kill him. I don't have an attack buff. Uh, but this is what I was talking about here. This uh, increases hit chance. Uh, this, what does this do? Okay, so I need him to be not buffed. This is actually kind of interesting. Um... 35% for 4 bleeds, that's a lot. Uh, Kessler's Comet Readiness by 50. Wow, 50% Combat Readiness, that's kind of interesting. Maybe I should do this. See, this is what I'm concerned about. So, I, I mean, he's about halfway, which is half of 25 is 12.5, uh, so 12,500 HP. He's, he's missing about, uh, I think he had like 16k, so he's going to hit Basar for 9,000 damage. I What I'm hoping is that maybe he can, like, Basar can survive that. But I think uh, I'm going to put him over the edge here with one of these hits, which kind of sucks. Um, which one of these does the least amount of damage? Uh, let's just hit him with that. Oof. Okay, so it is his turn. Okay, so let's see who he's gonna hit. Okay, so he's gonna hit someone for 14k. Oh, well, he's gonna kill her. Um, I, obviously, again, I don't. I didn't use her very much, so I was okay to lose that, to lose her there. Uh, but I think he's on holy sacrifice, so I, now we really gotta burn him down. Uh, let's just hit him with this. Oh, I was supposed to wait till. Uh, 
Wow, this guy has like insane effectiveness or something, or effect resistance, because I have not been able to do anything to him. Uh, let's not, let's let's hold on to that until this barrier is gone, so we can start doing real damage, see, because like... Because now we're going to be doing extra damage, because uh, the barrier is gone. Well, relatively extra damage. Uh, okay, so here's one. Let's hit him with this. I mean, it kind of sucks that the defense buff is up right now, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, of course, she keeps giving herself skill nullifier, even though, like, no one here... Has he resisted anything? I feel like... He's not resisting anything. They're just, like... Nothing is landing on him, which is kind of starting to annoy me. Okay, so this is gone. Oh, of course. Please stun. Okay, so he resisted there. Oh my gosh, dude. So I'm losing... I'm losing DJ Basar, but at least I... Hopefully I get to beat him. I, I'm starting to think maybe I won't, though. <sighs> Resisted. Of course. Okay. We have an S3. That's insane. We were lapping him, too, like crazy, and somehow he still got the S3 off. Uh, so that's, that's, you know... So for those of you out there, right... Um... Uh, I, I really, like, I, mine isn't um, Mola on the S3, but I really do think that uh, mola him on the S3 is... Uh, I forgot that uh, I have Extinction, so even if he did have Holy Sacrifice, it was useful. Um, but yeah, I think uh, mola his S3, especially when you've got, like, decent speed, uh, is a big help. Like, being able to nuke twice is, is no joke. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look at what we're looking at here. Um, this team up here, again, I need a CR pusher, uh, if I'm going to use Lilibet up there. Uh, so this is kind of a team I was thinking of myself, is running uh, her and him together. In case someone tries to CR push, then you got a 33% chance of killing something with her. But let's see if I can... I'm gonna see if I can like over tank this, and then maybe start doing some uh, some shenanigans with her. Actually, let's do this. This looks like it'll be interesting. Um, yeah, it looks like fun. Uh, now down here does not look like a whole lot of fun. Uh, let's put you there. Uh, he's most likely just gonna die to uh, Ken there, but that's fine. Like, I mean, not even just like like die, like actually just die twice is what I'm concerned about in that sense. But uh, that's fine. And then let's bring uh, let's bring what's her name here. Uh, where here she is. CC. Uh, this team down here looks kind of stupid. But uh, I'm gonna try it out anyway. Um, again, my Vildred—he's not even breaking four hundred. Uh, four hundred. Uh, yeah, four thousand attack, which you know is really bad. But uh, I mean, it is what it is. The biggest problems right now, I'm thinking, are he's got defense break. So if that lands on anybody, I'm kind of screwed because I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any healing on this team. I mean, I might just be able to like run like a super tank comp here and just like put a healer. But I really want to test out this. Well, yeah, let's actually let's run. Uh, what was she? Uh, let's run DN if I can find her. There she is. Let's put DN right here and, and uh, see what happens. Um, I have pretty low hopes for the bottom one. The top one looks kind of risky just because uh, you could have like dodge. On everybody okay so they're very slow uh, which is good um, I don't know who to hit here because you know let's just hit you get you back there make your speed irrelevant okay, so you resisted just kind of weird uh, so if anybody resists this I'm gonna be pretty pissed uh, well I mean Ruel could resist but uh, let's find out what happens uh, okay so she's doing her thing. That's kind of irritating. <sighs> okay. 
So he's gonna go and do you know what he does. It's pretty interesting. So let's uh Yeah, actually I'm just gonna do this. Uh let's see if uh, what kind of damage we're looking at here. Oh uh, that's yeah that I don't know, that is like that's a <laughs> that's a mean bluff. Uh uh, what's his name? It's a mean bluff of an Ar of an arbiter builder there. It's kind of like you really don't want to bluff uh, when you're let's do when you're in a tower. Like when you're in like the smaller towers, that's fine because people can like avoid you and just like generally uh, you know get, not have to worry about you. But I really think when you're like in a tower, you can't really be bluffing like that because. Um, they're gonna hit you no matter what, right? Because like you gotta wipe out the towers to like do anything. Um, so let's take a look at this. Oh, very nice. Okay, so that's cool. So now we get to do this. Okay, I'm going to S3 something with him. It's just S3 him. Hopefully, I can keep this Ruel on lockdown with uh, what's her name? Tenebria, but we'll see. Uh, let's just burn this, do more damage. I think in this scenario, what you want to do is you want to do a lot of S1s for the CR push as well as the sleep. Um, but that's fine. Uh, the defense break is going to be just as useful. Uh, so basically, I mean, this one, like, we really shouldn't have won this one, but what won us this this one was uh, the fact that that Arbiter Builder didn't do enough damage for anything. Like, sure, I had Aureus and the uh, defense proc on the first time, but the second time we attacked, there was nothing there. Um, and then, of course, he didn't get the Alexas, which is, you know, again, it's all right. But, uh, yeah, so for any of you, um, just really try to invest into your Arbiter if you do have one. Um, or don't, like, don't put him there. Like, put something... That's geared better because it'll ultimately just help out a lot more than you know just having a a bluff of an arbiter there. Uh, and that's uh oh wow this is annoying. This uh this lady over here is just gonna be baited onto uh, Crow, so that's cool. Uh, I need to s I, I didn't check to see what her HP was. Well, let's see how much damage we're doing here. Oof. That ain't cool. Uh, let's just hit him with this. Uh, I'm probably gonna miss on the, uh... Oh, I got her. I can't believe that. That's hilarious. Uh, so much for that. Uh, let's do... Let's do this. Uh, so basically I'm just gonna S3 her with Crow. See, I mean, Crow's S3 would have been up by then, right? Like... Something to consider. It's like a lot of times it's not worth it, right? Just because, um, let's push you back. It's not worth it because you're not gonna get too often in a, in a match. But uh, you know, every so often, see, right? It'd be up already. Every so often, you know, it comes up. So, fair warning to uh, any of you out there watching this. Uh, there we go. See, look at this. This is why Edka's so cool. Um, I can now S3 Soulburn with the attack buff. That she gave herself, so I don't have to worry about bringing an attack buffer with her. Um, yeah, so basically, very, very powerful. I like bringing her into uh, regular, like against regular Tenebria too, just because like she's got so much AOE and, and so much uh, CC. Um, yeah, it's just great. Let's see what happens here. Very interesting. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna save her cleanse for uh, the defense break. The possible defense break on the uh, Ken there. Okay, so let's do this. See what happens. Well, I did no damage. My uh, Arbiter Village is a disgrace. I got crit twice there too. Three times in a row through crit debuff there. Okay. Let's just hit him all <laughs> again, even though it doesn't seem like a very good idea. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens here. Okay, so that's, yeah, there you go, there's that. And then there's that. 
So RB basically did what he was here to do. And uh, Bologna did what she was here to do. So that's cool. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, so that I mean, I mean that went about as good as, as you could have hoped. Uh, unfortunately, the problem was that uh, Arbor was going to die no matter what, basically. Uh, which is kind of sad, but that's fine. Uh, let's just put this barrier up. Uh, he's gonna, yeah, he's just gonna ask three, so that's fine. Um, yeah. Okay, and then we get the uh, S two off again, so that's cool. That did actually quite a bit of damage. And he's dead. Okay, so there you go. Um, the end, pretty strong. Uh, problems, obviously, uh, Arbiter kind of sucks. Uh, <laughs> don't have very good gear on him. Uh, his S3 is maxed, so that wasn't a Mola issue. Um, it was just more, again, like gear issue. I might, like, I'll probably show him at the end of this video if anybody wants to, if anybody wants to see that. Uh, Let's go over. Uh, he's got some. I think I've. Sh I think I showed him in the other one, but now he's actually maxed and everything, so I'll probably just show him off anyway. I showed his gear on Vildred, which they basically have the same stats. Okay, so this is good. This is a good opportunity here. Uh, they basically have the same stats, so you know what he looked like then, he'll look like now. Um, but uh, yeah, like you just you just need better gear on him. Um, I like this team over here. Like this team up here, this team down here, I want to run. Where are you? We are running Goofine here. And I'm running with uh, MLCC. Uh, da -da -da. Is that what I want? I think that's what I want. Yes. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. Up here, maybe putting SSB here would be better. Now that I think about it, maybe I'll put SSB here. Uh, where is she? Uh, but it's always a toss up. Like I can either run SSB or I can run um, Tenebria. Um, I do like running Tenebria more. She's a lot more fun. Uh, Cause she just randomly, she's just really dumb. Uh, considering. SSB, yeah, I mean, I really shouldn't be, like, playing around here. Ugh. Ah, why, why not? Let's just go back to this. SSB. Let's be better safe than sorry, as they say. Uh, I don't have any CR pushers, so <laughs> she has to, like, uh, hopefully not die. Uh, which is it's kind of a tall order, because I think they're, like... Basically, I would have uh, DJ Basar, MLCC, and the uh, Eufine there, but uh, yeah, I don't, so. Uh, of course, we got the uh, Lexus proc there. Uh, let's heal. I need to take this off of you, so. Like, normally here, I probably wouldn't have healed anything. I would have just S1'd, but you want to get rid of that uh, hit debuff there, so unfortunately, I had to burn it. Uh, especially because like my see I mean you want to kind of save it for this situation um, so let's just hit you with this um, yeah because like I'm mine at least mine anyway I mean it depends on on your your what you're running as well but uh, at least on my SSB I'm running lifesteal so um, that, that was the reason for that Okay, so let's just hit everybody with the... Uh... Fortunately, that uh, uh, Kron is a little tankier, which means I can do this. And he won't die. So he has the unbuffable now, which is good for me, right? Because now if I hit him once, he's just going to die because he can't get the immortality. Oh, he actually might need to take two hits. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> the only person who got the hit debuff again was uh, SSB there. So there you go. He's basically... That was free uh, on my part. Um... I am going to heal Ruel so she doesn't die, and I'm going to S3 his Crow, I think. I think that's the, the play there, because that Crow looks a little lower. Hopefully, see if I can uh, see if I can just stomp him out real quick. Uh, let's do you. Come on. Oh, yeah. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I got... Holy sacked. 
Uh, damn, that sucks. Who's gonna hit? He's probably gonna hit Crow just because Crow's low. Which is fine, because I mean he's there to smudge up damage. Um. Oh my gosh, that's so irritating. I hate when that happens. Okay, I got the miss, but I still did pretty good damage there. Okay, so he's gonna S1. I'm gonna S2. And uh, it's all good. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we won. Hopefully uh, nothing stupid happens. Um, he's focused on SSB, which means that uh, uh, his S3... So he's focused on SSB, which means that... Oh, there you go, another S1. Uh, there we go. So let's see. Uh, let's see you. And I got the... <laughs> it's always funny because it kind of spoils that... Um, she gets the stack before she dual attacks, so, you know, immediately you just know from there, you're like, oh, yeah, she's going to dual attack. Um, this bottom one is probably going to lose, I think. Um, that Euphine is way too slow. Yeah, like, my Euphine is after her SSB. This is actually pretty good, though, because now it means that I can MLCC... Uh, I can use MLCC to hit... To take off their, uh, whatever take off this barrier here or this uh, skill nullifier so that when it's uh, Yufin's turn right uh, when it's Yufin's turn something happens that was kind of weird and I could just kill SSB come on please tell me I crit okay I was about to say uh, and I didn't get the Charles proc so everything went you know literally as good as it could have gone um, Let's just hit Charles. See, he doesn't—he hasn't been countering, so I guess I've just been getting lucky. Um, we all got the skill nullifier, so this is uh, just basically good for me. Uh, okay. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen, which is why I saved the uh, the bubble there. Uh, she's gonna hit her. She's gonna go after Euphine a lot, so I'm just gonna turn uh, bait her into a, uh, uh, a taunt war here. Uh, this is probably gonna uh, trigger the the Elbrus. Oh no, it didn't. Okay, right. That was dumb. That was that's just broken. Uh, Euphine, I don't build a lot of uh, effectiveness on her, and she tends to like do that a lot, like just hit it on everybody. Uh, so let's. Ooh, I didn't provoke Locker. That's pretty annoying. Yeah, but he was gonna focus her, so that was okay with leaving her there. Oof. Oh. Okay, so she's just kind of going after whoever's lowest at the time. To you. I need a S1, Euphine. I need a, a boost F1. I need to boost Euphine's S1. There you go. Sorry. Um, yeah, I need to boost Euphine's S1. She's, it's not fully molded, but I think I'm going to do it now that. Uh, I, I mean, I hear we're getting a Mola refund, so that's probably what I'm going to do with that. Um, let's do this. Give everybody a shield. Uh, this is a kind of a team that's, again, suboptimal because. Her S2 gives everybody everybody a shield, and um, MLCC gives out shields, right? So it's kind of like, eh. Okay, there it is. I was like, something's wrong with this Charles. He's not countering. And he hit through crit debuff. Again, okay, so that's good. Um, at least, at least uh, I didn't get the second crit. That would have been obnoxious. Uh, so he's not on counter, I think, is the problem here. Okay. Oh, he's on counter. Wow, I just been I just got really lucky this entire uh, ex exchange here. Uh, let's see. So Euphine. Uh, so I'm forced to hit him again. Euphine's got the S3. I think even with the attack debuff, we're good. Yeah, we're solid here. Okay. Cool. Uh, so I mean, that's how you know that's how it's done. Um, I think. Some of those should have been losses, That some of those victories should have been losses, but, uh, you know, it's up to you to, to decide that. Um, so yeah, we've got three attacks left, uh, probably one person's missing. Uh, they got 15 attacks, I think, th so we're 2,000 over them, right? If you get 120 Havoc per attack, with 10 attacks, that's a... That's a 1,200 Havoc. 
That's 1,800 Havoc if all if every attack goes well for them, right? Theoretically. 15 times 12, right? <laughs> uh, 15 times 10 uh, times 100 is, yeah, like I said, so it's 1,500. Uh, and then add 300 to that. Uh, 1,800, right? So if they use all these tokens and they get perfect, they get 1,800, uh, which is still below us. So I think I think we got this. <laughs> Hopefully my math isn't too uh, too stupid there. Look like an idiot on uh, national YouTube vision. Uh, so all our I mean all our forts are down. I think I mean you can get more havoc when they if they knock down our towers. So let's go take a look if they all okay. So that's that. I guess if they all pile onto our stronghold. Um, they could beat us. Um, though hopefully some of them lose. Again, that's if they're perfect, right? So hopefully some of them uh, end up attacking and then lose. Uh, but is this defense down here, this is, this is a good defense. I like this. It's, it's hard to like go into that, especially if this guy is on point hitting like like a truck uh, and he's super fast and hitting equally hard. Uh, that, that's a hard team to counter. Um, like I've taken, I've tried uh, taking in Ruel, SSB, and like, um, you know, Crow into this, which is probably like one of the easier teams to, to just wipe everything with. Um, and he can just almost half hit, or he could probably, I mean, he can more than half hit my Ruel, um, which is a big problem because then he's doing a lot of Ruel damage, um, just sort of incidentally. Uh, then SSB, like, SSB is pretty good because the, the, the drink kind of counters evasion, but like, if it takes too many drinks to kill a, uh, the, the, the Riolu here, um, his S two, his S three will trigger again uh, and do a lot of damage. This first team up here is kind of bait. Uh, I feel like you could just beat this pretty easily, but this team down here is, is pretty scary. Um, yeah, I've got to think about like what the easiest counter for this is. Actually, uh, I, I think I've run this before, and some of you may have seen it. Um, you find these two on arena defenses a lot, so probably maybe a lot of people haven't seen it. But you find these two on def arena defense a lot, and the way I counter that a lot of the time is bringing in Dizzy, uh, which basically just cripples the whole team. Or if she doesn't do that, she's on mine's on Ayelas, which basically strips. The good thing about it is she can strip his evasion buff, right? Which sort of alley oops into um, uh, uh, regular Tenebria. So I can take his evasion buff, hopefully. Again, it's like an 80% chance because of Ayala's. And then uh, drop the Tenebria S3, which, you know, does, like, horrendous, like, damage to everybody. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, that's a pretty good team there. Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to show my Arbiter Vildred here. Again, his, his, his gear is pretty atrocious. Um, I just got to, you know... I've got, like, 6k mats. Not a whole lot, but uh, I'm probably going to start... Um, grinding out gear for him, make a few helmets, a few swords, because basically those are the two things that he's missing are his swords and his helmets. Um, so he's at plus six for this. As you can tell, I didn't upgrade this because the only thing this gives you is uh, health, uh, which isn't that big a deal because, I mean, if he's going to die on the follow-up, he's going to die on the follow-up. Uh, this didn't trigger for shit, even though I got you know, 30%. Um, Let's see. Uh, and then this is not max, but it didn't matter in that case, right? Because uh, I got the... Um, all he did was the S3 and the S into the S3 again. Um, I didn't even get any blinds, which kind of sucks. But I, I think they had uh, immunity, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, let's pay attention here. Um, 3,800 attack. Uh, it's not... It, it's too low. Uh, I, there'll, there'll be some fixes to that, though. Uh so this speed is, is obviously low. There'll be a little bit of fixes to this. I think I can probably push 190, uh, and 190s is I'm pretty I'm pretty good about that. Um, there's a lot of people pushing like 220 speed, uh, which is fine. I just I think you're sacrificing you're sacrificing way too much uh, potential damage and kill potential. Um, so yeah, that's why I think uh, 190 pushing 190 maybe maybe 200 in the future uh, if I get better gear. But for now, like 190. 180 is decent for me, and I think that's fine. Um, as you saw there, I mean, he outsped that whole team anyway, right? I got the S3, and then the only reason he died is because I got the the double Charles proc there. Um, I mean, that... Uh, what's his name? 
the uh, the guy, you know, the uh, ML can would have killed me anyway, I think. Uh, but yeah, so RNG kind of went against me there. But in, in any case, uh, back to what I was saying here. Uh, so like I, I mentioned this earlier, so I'm probably going to boost this necklace. I mean, it's not that impressive. Obviously, you probably want more like concentrated stats, but I kind of like the way it is here. So I'm going to get two more crit chance, uh, boosting me up to 80, which is, is great. Uh, a little bit more flat defense. Uh, obviously, it's not that important, but like, you know, any stat is important at this point. Uh, but I'll get two more speed here, which puts me up to 170, uh, 178. And a little bit more attack, which should probably get me up to like 39 maybe. By like 2% attack. Eh, maybe not 39. Uh, but you know, this, this piece in general will be pretty good. So I'll be 310 uh, crit damage. Uh, down here we have the this piece. This piece doesn't have any speed, which is going to be one of the bigger um, speed bottlenecks. But I like the stats that are on it. The crit damage, the crit chance, the uh, defense, and the health. Um, uh, this piece here, again, perfect. So speed, crit chance, and uh, basically most of it rolled into crit damage. Um, so four crit damage and one uh, one speed roll. Um, yeah, and then you know high attack. So I'm going with an attack boot. Some people go with the speed boot. Uh, if I had, if I went with a speed boot, let's go over here and take a look at this real quick. I, I do have a decent speed boot that might be pretty good on him, but I'm losing. I'd be losing out like 65 attack percentage and, and 25 crit damage, which is kind of hard, uh, kind of a hard ask. Uh, but let's go look over here. There's a speed boot, this one here. So I could probably put something like this on him, but again, like that's sacrificing way too much uh, kill potential. Uh, yeah, so you know, it's kind of hard. I mean, maybe if I get like a, a helmet or something that has like. 30 attack, 30% attack or something like that, then I could justify that. Uh, but currently it's uh, sort of not something I'm okay with. Especially just given how well the speed boot here rolled. Um, but yeah, so this right side gear I think is pretty solid and I think uh, I'm just going to keep it that way. Uh, I'm going to get the plus the last one here. I just need to do the side story. I need to wait for the side story to open up to get that last mola. Um, I like this piece here, uh, 13 crit damage. 9 crit chance, uh, 7 health, and, and 6 speed. Uh, I think I might boost this piece, uh, level 90 here. Get uh, 2 or 1 more roll in speed, which puts me up to, from the 2 here, uh, 179, and then worry about getting speed from somewhere else up here. Uh, crit chance is fine. Crit damage, probably get like 3% crit damage. Uh, so I'll be like 113, uh, 313. Uh, and then the health is always, again, good. Ideally, you want like a 10k... Uh, 10k HP Arbiter, and then like maybe uh, 1k defense for like decently tanky, decently fast, and decently uh, damage dealy. Uh, about 4k uh, attack is what you want to hit with that. Um, and I think it's a pretty good Arbiter, uh, in my opinion, because like that way he, he's not so easily killed and he can last a few more turns just annoying them. Because uh, a lot of people might like run like a super squishy Arbiter, like 8k, right? Uh, and then he just gets kind of one shot no matter what happens. Uh, as you saw there, he got destroyed by the uh, Charles, the S1 and S2. But I mean, some some Arbiter is just get killed by an S1, right? Um, but yeah, so anyway, like having a little bit of tankiness isn't going to really hurt you. Um, especially not my gear because I don't have anything like... It will hurt you if you're sacrificing other stats, but I'm not sacrificing other stats because I'm not very good gear anyway. Uh, but yeah, so this is this this helmet... And this sword are about are basically the uh, sources of all my grievances with uh, his build. Um, this helmet, as you can see, has no attack percentage. Uh, I really want to drop this effectiveness and this defense and and get attack percentage on here and speed. Uh, but that's sort of a, a holy grail piece, right? Uh, crit chance, crit damage, speed, and attack uh, on a speed set. So I think the problem with that is that's going to be a while to to find something like that. And then on top of having to you know first of all find it. Uh, second of all, have those rolls, those initial rolls be good, and then third of all, right, um, when I roll it, have my later rolls be good on that too. So uh, this will be about as good as he's going to get for a very long time because, like I said, that, that helmet, that ideal helmet for him is going to be a huge ask, um, especially compared to what it is now. I mean, this crit chance and this crit damage are, are pretty hefty. Um, yeah, so, you know. But like I said, um, want more attack out of this. I want any attack out of this and uh, speed. Uh, maybe I can get like a, I don't know, like an eight speed piece or something like that, uh, which would be pretty good. 
again hitting 190 would be great and and this piece here getting more speed would be uh would facilitate that um but yeah so this piece again like i said this piece is, is like the bane of my existence um i really need a better piece than this here uh, and then here this piece isn't so bad but the rolls are pretty garbage um i got like a i think i got like a two roll into crit chance uh so that's one roll the the third roll or the fourth roll the fourth roll was this four percent attack which as you can see four is like the bottom end you can get like a two i think maybe but four is like the bottom end you can get a you can get anywhere like a seven or an eight uh, so this is this turned out garbage uh i think i got like a four and a three or something like that i can't remember uh, so, that, so that's two rolls wasted down here i think i got a four and a three down here i think i got like and then the last two the last roll the last two rolls we're on the crit damage, but they were very low, so you can tell by the fact that it's only 14. Uh, so this this sword really irritates me. Like it 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 was perfect. It had crit damage, speed, and crit chance, and then I rolled the crit the attack percentage at the end. But everything here was just such low rolls; it just kills me. Uh, so I'm gonna have to replace this. I'm gonna be so yeah. I'm gonna be building uh, boots and helmets, and I'm gonna be on the specific lookout for uh, boots and helmets for Arbiter Vildred. Um, and that should probably boost him up to where I want him. Like I said, ideally, uh, with my gear, probably uh, I want to be hitting at least 4k attack. Maybe more if I can, though I doubt it. Uh, 4k attack, close to 190 speed. The crit chance is, is whatever, um, as long as it's like decently high. So after I reforge that necklace up there and, and then that, that chest, and then obviously the, the sword and the helmet eventually... Uh, hopefully I'll probably get it up to like 15% uh, at least so but probably more hopefully <laughs> hopefully more uh, but at least 85% would be nice um, then uh, that crit damage the crit damage I'm fine with it dropping a little bit again because I'll be losing uh, this piece here with the 17 um, I'm, I'll be fine with dropping the crit the crit damage a little bit but I just I don't want to see it go below um, 300 is basically my only requirement for that um, but yeah, so like I said, I'll be forging these pieces, and then hopefully I'll have a, a decent arbiter to to show off. Um, I'm just I'm just glad I have them now, and I can just sort of cheese certain things. I think I'm gonna put them on my arena defense to stop uh, cleaves. Uh, it'll be you know be pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's it for the today. Sort of went tangential onto my uh, arbiter build, and um, but yeah, I just since it was a sort of the first time I got to use them, I, I wanted to show off uh, what shortcomings he had, and uh, you know. Just some things you might want to patch up. A lot of people want to run uh, immunity set on him, but I think if you're running immunity set on him, like you're you're like you're so end game that really it's not really um, arbiter that kind of shows through. It's more just your gear. Um, yeah, so you know, keep that in mind. Is that uh, people will tell you to put? Some people might tell you to put immunity, but you have to realize that, like, if you're watching this video, you're probably not at the level. Um, like if you're watching any YouTube videos at all, really, on Epic Seven, you probably don't have the gear. Like you're not good enough. I don't think you're probably not good enough to like pull that off, right? So be. It's important to be mindful of where you are and what advice is relevant to you. Like you know, someone in the top twenty RTA might be telling you like, oh yeah, you got to run immunity on him. But for one, you're not competing with other people at top twenty RTA like he is or she is. They may be. Uh, and two, you have to realize that your gear, you know, you have to know where your gear is at and what you're able to uh, construct in that sense. So, you know, like I said, just just keep in mind uh, and any of you and any people who like um, maybe feel Arbiter isn't as uh, as overwhelming as you, you thought it would be, especially just because now he was in Mystic Rotations and we're all pulling for him. Uh, for any of you who thinks that maybe, you know, Arbiter is not as um, overwhelming as you figured he would be, it just takes time, um, you know. It just takes time farming gear. I mean, these kind of came out decent uh, in terms of like they were good pieces for him, um, but obviously these didn't. And a lot of people like have had Arbiter who have Arbiter now have had him for a while, so they've been like selecting gear for him uh, at the forefront of their mind. Where like you have been gearing other units that might be similar to him, but no unit is really exactly like him so you, there's no one who's like oh that guy's gear i'm just gonna shift it over onto vildred um 
so it's important to realize that like now that you have the character your mentality for gear selection will change and that'll help boost them up even more and you'll you know it just takes time to 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 make those selections is what i'm saying so just give it time you'll you'll you know you'll all get we'll all get um really strong arbiters eventually um just like anything it's just time i'll uh, be yeah, you know it's already gone very long so yeah that, that's it for today um hopefully we break uh into you know top 200 uh after this if we take the w here which i'm pretty sure we will uh but yeah until uh, until next time <laughs>